All right, so in this problem, we're told at a rock concert, a decibel meter registered 130 decibels when placed 2.2 meters in front of a loudspeaker on the stage. A, what was the power output of the speaker, assuming uniform spherical spreading of the sound and neglecting absorption in the air? B, how far away would the sound level be a somewhat reasonable 85 decibels? So imagine this right here is our speaker, right? And so this is the front view. Uh, if we look at it from the side view, you can imagine this right here is your speaker, right? So it's actually would be like this in 3D, right? So we can imagine we're looking at it from the side. The front of it would be the decibel meter. Uh, we know it's going to be 2.2 meters away. And at this point, it's going to register a sound of equal to 130 decibels. So this is the information we're given. And we know the speaker, the wave is going to, right? The sound wave is going to spread out in all directions around it. And so what we're trying to find uh, for A is the power output of the speaker. So how are we going to do this? So the first thing you need to know is the formula for power. So power is equal to the intensity of the wave multiplied by the area. So uh, when you're doing a problem like this and it's going to be spreading outwards, uh, the area is always equal to 4 pi r squared, where r is the distance from the point at which the sound is emitting right so that's the area uh, and now what we need to do is calculate the intensity of our sound wave so the way you do it is by using this formula uh, b equals 10 log of i over i zero where i is the intensity of the wave right which is what we're going to be solving for here uh, and i zero is the minimum audible intensity that value is just a constant so uh, you just need to know what that is it's equal one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so that's I0. And uh, what we're going to want to do now is just uh, solve for I, right? Okay, and so now that we have I0, we obviously know uh, B at this point, the sound level is 130. We can go ahead and solve for the intensity of the wave. So we have 130 equals 10 log of I, which over I0. So to solve, you would divide both sides by 10 to get rid of that. So we have 13 equals log i over i0. So keep in mind, uh, to get rid of the log here, what you do is you raise uh, 10 to whatever's on the left side. So we would go 10 to the 13 equals, and then that would just get rid of this log here. So it's i over i0. To solve for i, you would just multiply both sides by i0. So we'll have i equals, um, as I said before, i0 is this value right here, 1 times 10 to the minus 12, and then multiplying that by 10 to the 13. So let's uh, go ahead and see what we get. 1 times 10 to the minus 12 times 10 to the 13. So when you do this, you're just going to get a value of 10. So i is going to be equal to 10 watts per meter squared, right? because that's the units of intensity. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and solve for the power. So P equals I, which was 10. And we multiply by the area. 4 times pi. And then the point at which we're out is 2.2 meters. So that would be your radius. So we have 10 times 4 times pi times 2.2 squared. So 608 uh, 0.21 watts. Uh, you can just round to 608 if you'd like. So 608 watts, that's going to go ahead and be your uh, answer, right? So your answer to A, when they say, uh, what was the power output of the speaker, right? We just solve for it using this formula. So yeah. So we knew all this stuff, right? We had to find the area, so how far out we were, and then the intensity at that point, which we solved by using uh, this, right? So uh, once we had beta, we could solve for the intensity, and then we just plugged it in uh, to get the power at the power output. So we know that. Now let's go ahead and do B. So for B, uh, it says, how far away would the sound level be for a somewhat reasonable 85 decibels? So for this one, uh, the way we're going to do it is by solving for the intensity again, Right? And then instead of solving for P, we're just going to solve for R. So we know P equals I times 4 pi R squared. 
right? Because they want to find the distance at which the, the, um, we're at seven, or 85 decibels. So you had P over I, right, multiplied by 4 pi, and this would be equal to R squared. So all I did was divide that by uh, those values there. And then if you just square root of both sides, you get P over 4 pi I. So we already know the power output of the speaker, 608 watts. We just need the intensity of the wave now. So let's go ahead and do that. So now it's for 85 decibels. So 85 equals 10 log of I over I0. Uh, we'll just go through this quicker. So divide by 10, 8.5 equals log of I over I0. Uh, then you would just uh, raise 8.5 or 10 to the 8.5 equals I over I0. Multiply both sides by I0. We know what that value is, right? I0 is 1 times 10 to the minus 12. Multiplying that by 10 to the 8.5. Let's go ahead and see what this value is. So 10 to the 8.5 times 1 times, yeah, okay. So I is 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4. So now we have the I value, we can actually plug it in here, to determine the radius. So power output 608, we'll say 0.2, uh, right? That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, and then divide by 4 pi times the intensity 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4. So let's go ahead and see what this is now. So 608.2 divided by 4 times pi times 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4. So when you do this, you'll get 391.36. So I'm just going to round to 391 to get the full value. So 391 meters, obviously that's pretty far away. So uh, your radius here, 391 meters. So you actually have to be pretty far from it. Because right? keep in mind, 2.2 meters is 130 decibels. So to get to 85, we'd have to be way farther out. So 391 meters, that's your answer to B. Your answer to A right here uh, was 608. So just a quick summary, we just use this formula here, P equals IA, and we solve for the intensities at both of these points. And then we could solve for the distance in this one, uh, but the power in A. So yeah, 608 watts and 391 meters. Those are gonna go ahead and be your answers and hopefully you found this video useful.